Grab your extra large double double and your poutine. It's time to discuss Canadian hardcore. In particular, this Canadian hardcore festival that's going down in Toronto, September 8th, 9th, and 10th, 2022. It's called Hold Your Ground and it's put on by Solace Music Production and Damage Control. And I think they did a pretty good job of wrangling up some great artists. So today, we're going to go over all the artists playing Hold Your Ground Festival for all three nights of action. That's the pre-show and night one and night two. Hey ladies, how's it going? Dan Frampton here. Let's talk about some hardcore. Okay, first up, let's talk about the pre-show that's actually going down in the heart of Toronto at the Hard Luck Bar. The other two nights are kind of happening Toronto adjacent, if I'm being honest with you, in Mississauga. So because the pre-show is so close to me and it's less expensive, I'm going to this show and probably not the other ones unless, you know, I make a shit ton of money and get a bunch of time off of work and all like the planets align. But until that happens, if you want to go to the same show that I'm going to, it's going to be this one, which is the pre-show. And I'm actually so hyped for this show. There's a lot of really good bands here. We got Set Straight, Twist of Cain, Die Alone, Temper Tantrum, and Queensway. What a friggin' lineup for a pre-show. And I've already went through the lineup for this festival, and I'm pretty surprised that we're not seeing Toronto's most hyped hardcore band at the moment, friction on any of these bills. Cause right down here in this space right here by this hoodie goon's knee, I can see the word friction being written out and I would be even more hyped for this show. But as it stands, tickets already copped, I'm super hyped. Okay, now we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes, the main portion, the entree of this video, which is night one and night two of the actual festival. It's going down at the Hansa House in Mississauga on September 9th and 10th. It's an all-age event, and if you want tickets, you can get them at holdyourgroundfest.com. But we're gonna go through this band by band, night to night, and gauge how sick this festival is gonna be. Cause you heard me talk about This Is Hardcore, which is probably the most hyped hardcore festival in the world. And you also heard me talk about Sound and Fury, which is another festival going down in the States with a whole bunch of modern day, current hyped hardcore bands. And this is sort of a, like a weird hybrid where it's a, a bunch of local bands and a bit above local bands. It's kind of like a super indie show sort of thing. And you can run this bill in any of those big hardcore cities and it would draw. So to say that I'm hyped for this, would be a little bit of an understatement. It's just so close to me and so sick, and I think it's just like mind blowing. All right, so let's get into night one here with this band called Endgame. Now, one of the promoters of this festival, Damage Control, is friends with this band, like really close friends. They do a podcast together and stuff, and it's no surprise that they're playing this festival, but they are a pretty sick band. This is the dude she runs the podcast with, Spencer. It's Scoped Exposure, if you're wondering. You should go check them out if you haven't heard of them. Really sick podcast. You know, there's not a lot of commentary going on around like the the hardcore scene right now and I think they do a pretty good job of it you know and they balance everything they do it all they promote they do podcasts they're in bands it's insane so good for them they're out here hustling making that money chasing that bag and doing it all in the name of hardcore you gotta love it next band they're called spaced they're from Buffalo so they don't necessarily need to drive a whole lot to get here but I know going through the border is a bitch no matter who you are, so I just hope they have a pretty easy time going through. Then we get a little band called Infamy. I haven't heard too much of these guys, if I'm being honest with you, but they do look pretty sick, judging by their Instagram. They play a lot of shows. They mostly post pictures of the shows that they play and the posters. Pretty standard fare. Nothing too out of the ordinary here. Next band. Hardcore band from Milwaukee called Enervate. Their shirts go really nice with gold chains. Lots of posters, lots of live shots. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary here. Man, all hardcore bands' profiles look the exact same. We're gonna give mad points to the fucking profile that deviates from this formula. Denial of Life from Tacoma. Let's see if you deviate from the formula. Live shots, posters, van. Nope, no, no extra points for you. But you do look like a pretty sick band with the fucking Calgary Flames jersey going here. Hell yeah, what a shot. That's a great photo. Next band, Mean Time. That's a great band name. They got about 500 followers. They're a hardcore band from Winnipeg. So they're gonna have a, a little bit of a drive, but nothing too bad to get here, you know? It's gonna be pretty pretty standard touring hardcore band stuff. But let's see what their profile looks like. Poster, live shot of the pit. 
Not bad. Poster, poster. All right, sick. A lot of really sick bands they're playing with. All right, not bad, not bad. But no extra points. So let's get rid of that tab. Ingrown. What an iconic band these guys are. You've probably seen people wear this goddamn shirt. So that's another thing they're adding to the formula is merch. So you got posters, you got live shots, and you got merch. All right, true. I mean, what else could a hardcore band do with their profile? But I want to see something more creative here. Because there's nothing here. You know what I mean? I'm just following all these bands so I can keep up with the shows that they're playing, not because their content is sick, you know? And I think the music is sick, and I think that the internet presence should also be sick. So they should be like hiring photographers at the very least to get really nice photographs. But you know, nothing out of the ordinary here. But when you have boxing shorts that look like this, that really does stand out. That is really sick. And I think that's going to be one thing that we learn. You don't need to necessarily deviate from this style or from this genre of Instagram page, but the cooler the post that you have is gonna be what determines how sick it is. Playing Chain Reaction, pretty sick, but pretty shitty photograph if I'm being honest with you. Yeah, the only super cool thing about Momentum's page here are those boxing shorts, which are very sick. Which by the way, if my channel gets really, really big, I'm gonna get in to influencer boxing and I would definitely wear these in the ring to fight someone my size. Someone like 110 pounds, let's fucking go. <laughs> Next band. Now it's time to get into the two headliners of night one. We're talking about one of my favorite straight edge bands right now called Dare. I love these dudes. They're not really deviating from the formula here, but their graphics are fucking so sick. This looks unbelievably cool. Again, tying other things in from the culture, like the Air Maxes and their band name Dare, you know, saying no to drugs and kicking the drugs away. Very sick design. I love it. And any shot from program Skate and Sound is gonna get extra points from me. But they didn't really deviate from the formula. They are just a hardcore band on Instagram. One of my favorite ones though, if you haven't checked them out yet, please, for the love of God, listen to Dare. Great band. Okay, and the main headliner of night one is this band that has been tearing through the scene and making a huge name for themselves. They're called Pain of Truth. They've been on like every big bill in the U.S. in the last little bit, and they are relentless. Their live show is super energetic, amazingly aggressive, but none of that really matters right now when we're looking at their Instagram page. So let's see if it deviates from the formula, and if it doesn't, let's just see how sick their content is. Okay, we got a high kick right right away. We got a pre-high kick right here. Pretty sick. I hate this. This is just like a brutal advertisement. At least put it on somebody and make it look cool, you know? That's brutal looking. This poster, poster. No, this is boring as fuck, man. I, I hate their Instagram page, all right? This sucks ass. However, they're a great band and I'm super stoked that they're playing. But that's the end of night one. It's time to move on to night two. Let's talk about this band called Mile End. Flower City Hardcore. Poster, live shot, hyping up the fest, playing hard luck. Oh man, sick ass mustache though. Big fan of these weird Al vibes. Next band, Shackled. Playing This Is Hardcore, whoo boy. Next band, Abrasion. I enjoy this band. I enjoy this band quite a bit. They make good music. They're very good at playing music. If you haven't heard this EP right here, Go listen to it right now. Born to be betrayed. It is so fun to listen to. It makes you just want to punch holes in all the walls around you. I love this thing. And they're making the trek to Toronto to make a whole bunch of hardcore kids punch holes in the floor. Constraint from Louisville. Poster, poster, poster. Meme. Poster, poster, poster. Live shot. Poster. Poster, poster, poster. Poster, poster, poster. Merchandise. Poster, poster. <laughs> Good posters though. I mean, I don't know why I'm just like glancing over a lot of these designs. I do love a lot of these posters. So I don't know why I'm being so hard on these bands. You know what I mean? Uh, all you need to have is your live shots and your posters. They just need to look sick. And and they do, and I don't think I've been giving them enough credit so far in this video. <laughs> but that's not the point. Let's keep on moving. Final declaration. A lot of posters. Should I be more critical of the posters? Should I go? But no, that is awful. Next band, Cohesion. Cohesion. Coho. Cohesion. The Kohai Zion Band. They're from right here in Toronto, you know, they're uh, pretty local. Very Canadian boys, drinking double doubles. Yeah, they're definitely from here. <laughs> they are definitely from here. <laughs> That's so sick, man. This fest looks unbelievable. Next band, Gates to Hell. I love it when the front man is a hoodie goon. That looks unbelievably cool. A lot of these pussy ass front men getting sweaty and too warm on stage to be wearing the hoods. Psh, whatever. Next band, 
Age of Apocalypse. They played LDB. They're playing This Is Hardcore. They're coming to Toronto for Hold Your Ground. These guys are really burning up that pavement out there on the road. Good for them. Hustling around, getting their music out there. Age of Apocalypse. Next band, Cold Shoulder. Another band from right here in Toronto, not having to travel too far. But these posters fucking kind of suck, dude. I'm not gonna lie with you. They look like rave posters. I guess Toronto doesn't really know how to do it that well with these posters. This looks fucking awesome, though. They know how to do their album art, but not really so much their posters. And it reminds me again of Friction. Why isn't Friction playing this goddamn festival? They have awesome artwork. They have awesome music. They can draw people to a show. They can make make people move. I'm not really close with anybody, you know, putting this shit together, so I don't have any inside information as to why they're not playing. Did they not get asked? Like, it doesn't make any sense why Friction isn't on this bill. Anyway, next band. Division of Mind. Very heavy. Very heavy stuff indeed. Very fun to listen to. Now here's a band that is on every single big bill going right now. This is Gridiron. They are an awesome band. And for some reason, I don't know, I called their record mid and a bunch of people think that I don't like them that much, but I do like them and I would love to see them. I think they're a great hardcore band and really fucking bring a lot of that kind of energy that you need to a live show. And I would love to actually witness it in person. So I hope this goes in my favor and I can get the next two days off of work and go to the actual festival and not just the pre-show. But now we're gonna be talking about the two headliners. I'm gonna talk about the one I'm most excited about last, obviously. And this is another band really stinking up the vans these days. We got Never Ending Game, playing with Terror on their Pain Into Power tour. Sound and Fury, this is hardcore. Coming here to Toronto. This fucking show looks so unbelievable. Never Ending Game have the potential to be one of the next really, really big names in the genre. And the band that I would be most excited to see, which means they booked this correctly, is Mind Force. God damn, this band is unbelievably fun. I love them. This is New York hardcore the way that I love to hear it. And if I could just hear that Excalibur riff in person right up front, ah, man, that would really make my day. I would love to see all the slamming that goes along with that in my general vicinity. You know, that would be so sick. So if I can make it to any of these shows, what kind of content would you expect out of me from going there? Because I'm not going to be doing any sort of cringy vlog type shit. But either way, I definitely will run down what I actually get to experience. Okay, and that's going to be about it. Like if you liked it, subscribe and join until my next upload. Watch another upload.